Okay, real quick, this video shows you how we do a wash and wax in under one and a half hours. I'll have all the tools and products linked down below for you to check out. Don't worry about the brand or whatever I'm using, but I do show you the process. I am talking kind of fast. I do stumble over some words because I am working and trying to finish it in a timely manner while still capturing all the steps and the process for this video. So please forgive me on all those errors and such. So just check the description box for those tools and products. Again, October 23rd, this, this, this Friday, I'll be launching my online course detailing as a business. Just download the guide down below to be on the email list to be notified or follow me on Instagram. Let's get into the video. All right, and welcome back to another video. Through the feedback on the last video, I'm gonna show you how we do a wash and wax on this one. Uh, I'll take you through the whole process. This is gonna be given our current setup. So obviously, if you're a one-man band, obviously, if you're a two-man band, but without our setup, like, it's going to be different. So just take what I say based on what we have and mold it to what you can do with your situation and your and your setup if you're, if you're mobile, if you're in a shop, because obviously we're set up a specific way and you're not gonna be set up like that. So take what I tell you and see where you can plug it into your business. Don't be like, hey, well, I don't have that exact pressure washer. I'm like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like make it fit however, however you can into your, into your system. So let's get started. So first things first is you gotta have pump sprayers. We literally have about like seven, 10, not, okay, maybe that's a little too much. We have like seven pump sprayers because we, that's a huge step up in efficiency is using pump sprayers, not spray bottles. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna use iron remover and, and spray it on all the wheels. We're gonna come back and then rinse it off just to knock off like as much as we can, which helps out a lot. We're knocking off like 80, sometimes like 80, 90% of the dirt and debris that's, and brake dust that's on the wheel. So we're gonna go around, spray all of them, let them sit there for a little bit and then rinse them off and then we go into clean the wheels. Sometimes, again, we don't have to clean the whole wheel because the that, pre, that rinse takes care of most of it or all of it. Uh, so when we do go to actually clean with the wheel brushes, it's very easy, very quick. Now, if I wouldn't be wasting time with the camera, wow, if I wouldn't be wasting time with the camera, as he rinses the iron remover off the wheels, I would have already started cleaning the wheels. That way it's like just, so much noise going on, I'm sorry. But now we're both gonna start cleaning the wheels and tires on different sides. But again, if he, if I wasn't recording, I would already be cleaning the wheels as he was rinsing off the iron remover. Okay, so the wheels in total took five minutes. Would it have, would it have taken a lot longer had we not pre-rinsed it and did that? Probably not by much, but again, like nothing really took that long anyhow, whether the first step of rinsing them and cleaning them. So in total, it was five minutes. With the pre-rinse part, seven minutes, you know? So now, because this vehicle, is this cricket? Because this vehicle isn't that, man, we're on a busy street, so you're gonna be hearing a lot of noise, my bad. Since this vehicle is really not dirty, instead of us rinsing it, foaming it, washing it, then using the iron remover and then rinsing it. We're gonna jump straight to the iron remover just to skip that many steps because like it's on, there's not, there's like a very light little, 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 little bit of debris on there. So you might as well just go straight into the iron remover, let that work, rinse it off, then go into the foam, wash, then clay, and then move forward. So a little bit different on this one, but it just, it, you know, it fits the bill to change it up. So it's important to note that, and you'll see this a lot, is that there is a difference between YouTube detailing and then detailing as a business, like in the real world application. Because a lot of times when you see people on YouTube, not that there's anything wrong with it, but it's like they are doing things different for the camera, right? They might be moving a lot slower. They might be doing things to make it look more satisfying. So like there's a lot of things that we do that is like that's not really seen on YouTube not because it's like a hack or bad but it's just like 
people already have this preconceived notion of like, oh, this is how you're supposed to do it. And if you go against that, it's supposed to be like wrong or, or, or not the right way. But there's a lot of things like that we just change up because like we're doing three, four cards a day, he's filming it, so I'll just get to that now. All right, so it dwells for five, eh, three to five minutes. I didn't, I'm, I'm not keeping a, a, a watch on me, but three to five minutes. Um, we rinse it down, now we're gonna foam it, and then we're gonna go directly into a wash. We don't use wash mitts, we just use microfiber towels to clean new ones, or at least like, you know, specifically washed and clean uh, towels. And we'll we have eight sides to it. So, you know, obviously eight sides, one side, it gets dirty, flip it, flip it, flip it. And we don't use the two bucket wash method, we just have a bucket of wet of towel with soap in there and we'll grab a new one when we need one and we'll discard the towel into another bucket once we're done using all eight sides. Washing is complete, currently rinsing, currently rinsing as you can tell. Next is one to conserve water so we don't use as much water, uh, which means we don't have to uh, uh, like get new risen or, or, or refill the tank more and more. So plenty of reasons why we, we want to conserve water. But after he does this, we're going to play the vehicle using o &R, and again using pump sprayers. He has a pump sprayer, I have a pump sprayer. They both have optimum no rinse diluted as a clay lube and we're going to use a, a um, a clay mitt, not a clay bar, but a clay mitt because we feel like that just it's faster than the clay bar. So both of us O and R, both of us, uh, and I would be doing it right now. Like he's already rinsing, so if I wasn't recording. I'd already be uh, claying it right now, just to always you know keep the keep the process moving. I'm telling you, if you're not using a pump sprayer, there's no way you're as efficient. If you're using a spray bottle versus a pump sprayer, you're not being as efficient. You just can't. Like there's no way you can. Claying process is done. Now I'm gonna grab the drying towel and begin drying, obviously, and then Lex will grab the blower and start blowing it off. Vice versa, it doesn't really matter. I'm just so happen to be the towel guy. He goes for the blower. It, you know, potato, potato, does not matter. Alright, so drawing is now complete. Lex is touching up some minor details on the front end with some bugs and some whatever there is there. Next, I'm gonna start paint prepping the vehicle, right? And once, once I'm done with whatever section and Lex is done with that, he'll go get the polisher, a cordless polisher, and start applying the wax. While I finish up the paint prep, I'll then hop over to the wheels and tires. As he finishes up that, the, the, the wax, he'll start removing it and I should be wrapping up the, the minor de details as well. Okay, so what he's using, it's, it's a polisher from AutoZone. It was like $60? It was a hundred dollars. It's it's cordless, battery powered. So it, and it helps because now we can turn off the generator. So now like we can turn off the, we can turn off the generator way before now, like way earlier because we have the blower on as cordless and this small little polisher just to apply. We're not doing any cor like any correction with this. One. It's all just to apply the wax on here. Uh, so we're, we're able to turn off the generator much quicker. Again, you saw you, you run into the whole battery thing. Like you need to have everything charged all the time. 
But as you can see, it's super easy to use, makes no noise, little vibration. It's great just for the application of the wax. You're not gonna get much correction out of this. All right, so unfortunately my tripod broke, so now I'm holding it by hand. So I'm probably gonna slow down on the filming now because there's nothing to hold the camera up. So Lex is now buffing off the uh, wax. So he's doing that. I'm touching up the tires. Well, I already dressed the tires. You dress the tires first. That way any uh, over sling that gets on the, on the wheel, you'll just come back and wipe it down as you wipe down the rest of the wheel. So tires first then wipe everything down because if you wipe everything down then provide tire then you gotta go back and touch it up then that so do everything in one step uh we dress the front of the grill uh we dress the uh, some a uh, little bit of honeycomb areas here in the back lex is polishing up the exhaust tips we wiped down the door jams wiped down the wheels clean the glass so now it is officially all done it is now 10 30. we start we got here at 9 but they didn't actually start until like 9 15 because we were talking about some things um so an hour and 15 minutes we charged 200 for this one and she's all done and by the way why we took about like to start 9 15 is because we were looking at the mighty h something the mighty hp60 spider we just got it in a few days ago so we're excited to use it we don't have any interiors right now to use it but videos will be coming soon reviews will be coming soon and productivity Woo, we'll skyrocket. The first vehicle, the Mercedes C300, was $200. It took us 1.5 hours, but I was filming and that was eating up a lot of time. So, like, just us straight working would be about an hour and 15 minutes, I think. Uh, the second vehicle, which is the Audi Q5, Audi Q5, that one took us an hour and a half, but that was just us working. So that was a normal time uh, just working, yeah. And on so with the Mercedes C300, it was like the most ideal. It wasn't that dirty. There wasn't much contaminants. There was no tar. Uh, the wheels were easy to clean, right? So everything was in our favor to why we were, why we were able to finish it in an hour and a half. Uh, with the Audi Q5, it was much more like your standard condition. Like it was dirty. There was a lot of like um, adhesive uh, residue everywhere. There was tar on the on the bottom rocker panels. Um, there was like a lot of like just little things you have to you have to look out for uh, as you were cleaning. So on the Audi Q5, we charged we, we charged we charged 240 because it's bigger, and it took us an hour and a half. And one thing I wanna to touch on is that there's a difference between YouTube detailing and detailing as a business, or detailing in the real world. Where like, it, you know, those detailers that have YouTube channels, you know, even for myself, like this is just the, the, the truth of the matter, is that you'll do things differently because the camera is on, right? Like for me, plenty of times, many of my videos, like I either did something a bit longer, or did extra steps, or I like just because I wanted a different angle for the video, I wanted to you know have more material to post. Um, you know because we're you know content creators, educators, uh, entertainers, so it's just like you just want more footage and more entertaining footage to appeal to the audience, right? So. Uh, like so a lot of the videos it's like I, I move a little bit slower um, I, I spend a little bit more time on it um, I'll get different angles I'll like do extra steps but in like a lot of times we're moving way faster than it is like I, I truly don't move as quickly as I normally do in person versus when the camera is on because then I just look funny I look like I'm rushing and like moving all over the place but the truth is like we just move very efficiently so the reason why we're able to finish it in an hour and a half or an hour and 15 minutes is because like we're, we're, we're this is like actual real world detailing we're still doing all the steps nothing is changing we're doing everything we have to do we're doing all the proper steps but we're just doing it in the most efficient way possible and if i post exactly how we move exactly what we do on youtube many of you would be like what you're doing that what why aren't you doing that? and it's like that's why I, I i we like generally don't post everything that we do because through the, the lens of YouTube detailing, everyone would be like, what, what do you mean, this and this, and like a like bunch of little trolls and haters. And this is especially true like if you're not really a detailer or you're a detailer, but like you're like a weekend detailer or like you have one car a day, is that you know, you're gonna have to do things different. Like 
right now, how you detail a vehicle, right? Like right now, whether you're a hobbyist, a weekend warrior, you just started your business, whatever, whatever, the way you detail one car right now, could you do that to four vehicles in one day? Like the exact way you do it, could you fit four vehicles in one day? Yes or no, right? And I'm not saying like whatever, whatever, like it just, could you fit four vehicles the exact way you detail right now into your day in an eight hour window? Because those two vehicles, was a wash and wax on both of them, and it was a mini interior detail on both of them. We charged in total, I think it was like 600, and the customer tipped $100. So we wanted like, in our, in our business, we're trying to hit like four to five, like not four to five, well obviously it's a revenue goal, but we'd like to get to like three to five vehicles a day within an eight hour window. So it's not like we're cutting any corners, it's not like we're any, we're not, we're, we're not producing any less results than if we take you know, four hours versus two hours. We're just being as efficient as we can and giving the best results. But all right, I don't know how long this video is, so I'm gonna try to condense it as much as I can to make sure it's not like a 25 minute video. But anyways, I'll end it right here. Uh, again, October 23rd, which is a Friday, I'll be opening up enrollment into Detailing as a Business, my online course that helps you how to start and grow your detailing business. Just download the guide down below to get on the list or follow me on Instagram or just pay attention and you'll be notified. But if you really wanna know the details, download the guide to get on the email list and then I'll give you more information, October 23rd. Let me know your comments, questions, concerns down below. I'll have all the links to the products in the description box and I'll see you on the next one.